The TUI needle insertion method for passing a catheter into the intrathecal space has included both midline and paramedian oblique approaches. In comparing the two methods, the paramedian oblique needle insertion technique is recommended because it causes fewer long-term catheter fractures and breaks. The midline needle placement technique is similar to a standard lumbar puncture. The needle passes between the spinous processes with the needle nearly perpendicular to the spinal canal. Because of the needle angle, the catheter must take a sharp bend as it exits the needle into the intrathecal space. This sharp bend can make advancement of the catheter difficult and in some cases requires the implanting physician to make repeated needle punctures to advance the catheter. This creates multiple dural holes, increasing the likelihood of cerebrospinal fluid leakage. The sharp bend in the catheter can also make withdrawal of the guide wire difficult in a catheter that is placed using a midline needle technique. Even if the catheter is successfully inserted and the guide wire withdrawn, catheter placement between the lumbar spinous processes or ligaments can lead to catheter failure. Over time, the spinous processes and ligaments may compress or abrade the catheter due to friction or pressure. This creates another potential cause for catheter fractures and breaks at the level of the lumbodorsal fascia. A paramedian oblique needle placement technique offers several advantages over the midline technique. With paramedian oblique placement, the site of needle entry through the skin is lateral to the spinous processes. The lateral coordinate for skin entry is parallel to the vertebral pedicle, approximately one to two centimeters off of midline. Entry is one to one and a half vertebral levels below the inner laminar space through which the needle will pass, creating a shallow entry angle. The imaging target for the needle tip is the midline of the selected inner laminar space. The needle stylet should be kept in place during dural puncture with the beveled needle tip oriented parallel to the longitudinal dural fibers. A return of cerebrospinal fluid through the needle, even with the stylet in place, signals entry into the intrathecal space. With paramedian oblique needle placement, a minimal bend in the catheter eases guide wire removal and decreases the chance that the catheter will be damaged or kinked at or near the entry site in the lumbodorsal fascia. Passage of the catheter through the paraspinous muscles for one to one and a half vertebral levels before piercing the ligamentum flavum and dura may also help prevent catheter dislodgement from the spinal canal. Do not withdraw the catheter through the introducer needle. This can partially cut the catheter or completely shear off the catheter end. A partial cut can cause drug leakage, while a complete shear can leave a disconnected catheter segment in the intrathecal space.